Email Finder. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today, I'm going to talk about our newest product here at Zero Bounce, which is our Email Finder product. Once you have a Zero Bounce account and go ahead and log in, you'll see Email Finder on the left hand side. And what we have here is two different types of products. We have an email finder, which is particular to somebody, to a name or person within a company that you'd be looking to find a valid email address for. The required fields for that are the full name. Uh, you can try first name if that's all you have, and we'll see if we can find it that way, and the domain. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few things in here so you can see how it works. For example, to find my email address, I can go ahead and hit put my name in and put zerobounce.net. And we're going to come back and say that the valid email address is brian at zerobounce.net, which is correct. And also our company is using multiple formats for our different employees. And so what we're coming back here is actually on some confidence levels of the other formats in our company. Uh, so this is kind of helpful. It depends upon your use case here, whether you're just looking for the particular person or if you're looking for uh, patterns. We also have this product set up in a bulk fashion. So if you would like to upload a file, you can go ahead and do that. It's very simple and straightforward. You just simply select the, the first name and last name column and also the domain column and go ahead and upload it. We will go ahead and query it, sorry, queue it and process that data. And this is an idea of what some results would look, look like. So I uploaded a file that had five rows on it, five different people that I was looking for valid emails. Uh, some of these were very made up just for sake of demonstration to show the different formats. <clears throat> it found three of the emails to be valid and gave me back the results and two were undetermined. We do not charge anything for undetermined results. It's the same thing uh, on our validation side. If we're not able to give you a good, accurate result, we do not charge you for it. And the way that it works for this is we have different packages that you can choose from. Every one of our packages includes, or sorry, every one of our accounts includes a 10 queries that you can use here for either the email finder or domain search. And if you want more, you can upgrade it. I definitely have a, a larger package here, which gives me a thousand per month. And you can go ahead and use these as much as you would like. And this is very good for business development people or people who are prospecting. So if this is you and you're out looking for people, this is a great way to get this information and to try to find the person that you're looking for. So if you all you have is their name and their domain, we can go ahead and use our validation engine to go test all the different formats that might be out there. As you guys know, email do have for businesses have uh, patterns. And so what we're able to do is with the amount of volume that we see coming through our platform, we're able to make pretty good determinations on patterns. Just to be clear, we are not ever using your validation data or any other person's validation data to process these results. This is totally separate. We are using our own engine to come and get a email finder result so that you can have good valid contacts to send prospecting emails to. So there's the validation, uh, sorry, email finder that's using our validation engine, which is what I showed you. So you would type in a name and you would type in the company. And then we also just have the domain search. And this is popular for a lot of the companies that are actually lead providers. So they're providing leads out to people and they're generally using this in some sort of way. Uh, so if we go to apple.com, for example, and try to run some queries, you're going to see some different confidence levels here based on what we're seeing. But this is generally the formats that are being used at Apple. Uh, Apple is a massive company, so obviously a little bit more challenging here, but I'm just trying to show how this works. Uh, so you can get an idea of these are the type of emails and, and the patterns that they would have. Uh, for most people, the email finder is a better tool. But for someone who's literally just trying to understand how does this whole domain work, we can give you an idea just based on a domain search, and it doesn't require a name. We also have full API endpoints for this including bulk. So if you go to our documentation, if you're an API user, you're welcome to go ahead and use um, our, our uh, guessing format feature on our API endpoint and all the documentation is here and nice and easy for you. And if anytime you have any questions, you're always welcome to reach out to our team and we hope you find our new product very useful and thank you for choosing Zero Bounce.